we're going to use ArcGIS Online to take a look at some data. We're going to make a map. And we open up the map making tool and let's go choose to add some data. We click on add layers and then let's type in recent earthquakes. This will give us some data about the quakes that have gone on in Japan and elsewhere. We get several different layers to choose from. Let's go for the one that Bernie Sokolsky has uh, created called U.S. Recent Earthquakes. Click Add and it'll appear and then we can just say Done Adding Layers. There we go. And now what we need to do is to slide west. So just grab and slide, grab and slide, and we're crossing the international date line there grab and slide and we still get to go west and now we're getting into Japan. Let's center it in here and now the internet has caught up with us. There's the data. Let's go zoom in a little bit and now you see this whole set of quakes that has happened. But if we click on one of them, wait a minute, let's click on it. Well, we don't get information about it so what we need to do is to go into the contents click on the name and then click on the subset that appears and that gives us our legend but uh, we still don't have the capacity for these uh, pop-ups to show because we need to enable the pop-up. So we click that and now when we click on any of these points we'll get the set of information about these data points. And here are these earthquakes that have happened there's a whole bunch of data that's there. It's maybe a little too much data for each quake. So let's go in and configure the pop-up so that it only shows the data that we really need. First, let's uh, shrink this title a little bit. Let's just say recent quakes and then it'll show the number. And then now if we scroll down, you can take a look at the attributes that we saw in the window. There's a few too many that we don't need, so let's scroll down and choose the Configure Attributes button. And that gives us the set that are being displayed. And we want those first several, but we don't want these last ones. So from number of stations on downward, let's just get rid of these, not have them show up. I go back up, take a look. That looks good. Let's click OK. And now, uh, let's make the depth actually be down as the last item in the list when it pops up. Let's go ahead and save that. So now when we click on one of these quakes, what we get is a window that just shows us the number that we're looking for, the information that we can cope with, not all this extraneous stuff. So now we want to find the big one, and it's hard to search for it, but I know the coordinates where the big one occurred. 38.32 north, 142.37 east. So those are both positive. Okay. Type them in and enter, and we zoom to it. Let's just uh, zoom out a little bit here. And, okay, now we can see a bunch of these other quakes. Now, what we really want to do is to create an interesting looking point there so that we can keep track of where it is. So let's go back up to the add layer and here's a new item. We can create an editable layer. These will be map notes. So let's just use map notes as the name and the template. There are several other templates, but we want to use map notes. Click on create and we get a new set of capacities over in the contents window. Just click on the crosshair because we're going to drop a point. Just click right on that dot. I'm going to have to slide the uh, map up here so that the window shows and we can make some changes here. Instead of point, let's uh, give it a new title. Let's just call it Big Quake. And we could add in a whole bunch of other attributes here and link out to some things, but now let's find a symbol that we like. And we can choose from a variety of types of symbols. Uh, there's a whole bunch to uh, explore. But uh, let's just go in here and grab one that is the uh, 
Let's grab this red bullseye target and say done. And that's what we want. And we could add up all kinds of other information. Let's go ahead and close and let's get rid of the, uh, well, first let's zoom out here a little bit. And now we can still see that big quake in the mass of the others. So let's get rid of this layer. Let's call back our uh, contents window. Maybe we can shrink this down a little bit. And uh, looking good. Now uh, we can move this around and maybe zoom out a little bit and have those uh, frames show up. There they go. All right, and now let's slide this a little bit over so that we can add in our uh, inset map. That's good. So now we can see kind of where we are in our map. Move it just a little bit. And then all that we have to do from here is to just uh, save our map and we'll be done.